What is going on everybody? My name is Trevor Barrett. I'm with Barrett Knives and today I'm going to do the Forged and Fire Challenge. But first, I got a clean shot. And then I'll show you what we're working with. fun to watch. Well, unfortunately, we had to do it because honestly, I can't work in a dirty shop, but I can make a dirty shop. So what we're going to do now is we're going to give you a quick tour of the forge to show you what the equipment we're working with is because I don't have everything that they have in the studio of forge and fire, but I do have some pretty cool stuff. So let's check it out. Safety first. All right, so first of all, we've got the Grizzly Grinder. It's a 2x72 belt. I've got all my belts here, and we got some very fresh looking ones here. I'm pretty excited about that. I also have a polishing side, or I could switch it out for the wire wheel. So, we got a nice grinder. I like it. It has a few limitations. It's not like the best mm. for knife making, but that's all right. Secondly, we've got a little tempering oven. Oh, that's got nothing to do. Anyway, we also have a welder. This will help us to make Damascus and my all kinds of cool stuff. So that's going to help me do some of the more complicated things. You might also be wondering, well, how are you going to do Damascus? Are you going to hand forge Damascus? Well, I also have the Coal Iron Works 12-ton blacksmithing press. I absolutely adore this guy. It is amazing. I would completely recommend it because... It can do anything that I need. Now the 12 ton isn't as powerful as some of the other models they have out there, but absolutely love it. Now I also have my nice anvil and some hammers and some hand tools. And I got my hammer that I hand forged myself, making a hammer with a hammer. And here is my forge. Now it's a little beat up, but that is okay. That is absolutely okay. This is a three burner propane forge. It gets nice and hot. Apparently I forgot I have a project in there already. I've got a big old propane tank, I have a quench tank, and I have a quench bucket. The quench tank is big enough for swords, though I'm gonna make get a wider one because it's a bit limiting when it's that skinny. I would suggest looking into that. And then of course we've got basic shop tools, like we've got the bench press, or we've got the vise, we've got a bandsaw, we've got some random tools, we've got a nice vise as well. We also have an etchant tank, ferric chloride in there, and let's show you where we are working. Now as some of you may know, my old shop burned down because of bad electrical wires. Um, unfortunately things were not always built up to code. And that is a real bummer because that set us back quite a bit. But, you know, we're working out of a wood shed. We put up some heat shielding to separate the wood and the flames and the heat. So hopefully, um, provided everything goes well for Barrett Knives, hopefully we'll be back on track. We'll be able to upgrade to a nice shop because as amazing as this is, to be able to have a place to work, it is a little bit of a bummer because as you can see, it's not really sealed off to the elements at all. Because a woodshed is built to breathe and to get that breeze going through it. So it's kind of a bummer, but here we are and we're pushing hard to have a nice enclosed heated shop again. So this winter is going to be a little difficult, but that's okay because worst case scenario, I've got the forge. i put you back on my tripod. Also, please keep in mind that as much as I love to do this, I am a bit limited because I am new to the whole recording thing. You know, I, I've just done simple YouTube videos and I've done simple TikToks, but we're making a push to make uh, better content, not only for me, because it, it is honestly fun to do, I'm just not very good at it yet, but also better content for you guys. So, 
Make sure you subscribe if any of this is even slightly interesting to you because I'm going to be making a push to up my quality of recording because that's what I want to do. So let's get ready and let's do the Forge and Fire Challenge. Here are our parameters. All right, all right, all right. Bladesmiths, you have been welcome to this forge to engage in three hours of time competition to push your abilities to the absolute limit. Today your parameters are to make a 10 to 12 inch blade, sand my construction out of this high carbon steel and mild steel combination. Your blade must be 10 to 12 inches in length and must be a full tame construction. If you progress to the second round, then you will have two hours to make a fully functional sharpened ready blade where you will be affixing handles to your blades. I'm a terrible actor, by the way. I don't know if you picked up on that. Failure to meet even one of our specifications will be grounds for immediate dismissal from the forge. So make sure you pay attention. Good luck, bladesmiths. Your time starts now. All right, but seriously, guys, I uh, hope you enjoy the video. We are going to be doing this as a series because honestly, I need practice on developing my YouTube abilities. So. I'm going to take it in bites uh, to be able to learn how to edit better, to learn how to make better content so you guys can enjoy it, so that I can enjoy it, I can be proud of it. So it'll take some time, so I'm sorry that it's a multi-parter, but these things take time and I'm still learning. So I appreciate your patience, patience, and I hope you subscribe and like what you see. we got a lot more coming.